shit terrorizing my smallest yeah. dog in the house. Growling at me. I'm the reason you eat. He ain't got teeth. And, and that's another reason why he don't need to be growling no toothless. You, girl, you heard the saying all barking no bite. He is the embodiment. <laughs> 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 I can't bite water. <laughs> <laughs> Who bites water? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny and we are hashtag. 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 Hashtag the cannons. C C T P. Alright crew members, welcome back to our eating show. show. Today guys, we are back with another muck bang. And today guys, we eat something good. Damn, what mm. is we eating on? Y'all, we got some broccoli that we're going to put some cheese on. We got some barbecue beef ribs. Damn. Devil is and then some macaroni and cheese. Damn, yeah, I got a little barbecue muck. Mm. got a little barbecue muck, man. Y'all, this is the very first time on this channel. Thank y'all for being here. If you could, could, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell. Set the notification to all so you'll be notified every single time the cannon drops some heat for that ass. Oh, yes. And remember, remember, remember to hit that like button. It's very important. And uh, guys, remember, hashtag grow. Baby grow, hashtag the cannons on the road to 100K, y'all. We are just over like 71K now. So um, thank y'all for being here. We really do appreciate it. Everybody, 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 new and old. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and pray so we can get this food. Father God, thank you for this food. Lord God, we ask that you bless us. Let it be nursed our bodies, bless those that are less fortunate. All these things we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Duh. All right, y'all, so I got some fresh cut today. Fresh, fresh, That's what's on deck. Y'all know, y'all see it. Gonna let do a little bit of the pole action for those who want it. Hope y'all having a good what's it Saturday? Yes. We should be seeing y'all. This is actually being recorded, of course, not on Saturday, but we know this is when we're gonna post a video. So uh it should be like a Saturday afternoon. You're getting a Saturday morning for some, just depending on what time zone you're in. So um maybe even Saturday evening if you decide to watch it later on in the day. Either way it goes, we're just glad you're watching it. Mm -hmm. So um thank you for being here, but hope y'all having a good weekend so far. Memorial Day, y'all off Monday. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. it's raining. You want some cheese? Cheese. You want some cheese? Need cheese. I can't see how much on there. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Little cheese. As if we ain't got no macaroni right. and cheese. <laughs> you know? Be extra. Growing up, that's the only way I used to eat broccoli. Hmm? Don't give it to me no other way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My mom give me broccoli. I said, "Where is the cheese?" <laughs> Rarely eat broccoli with. I mean, with cheese nowadays. So mm -hmm. I kind of wanted it that way because I just really like seasoned, well seasoned broccoli. So. Not one good. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is not, the macaroni is not like a baked macaroni. It is baked, but it's a box macaroni that I doctored up. <laughs> Tastes mm. good to me. The cheese outside. Fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, pull the bone out. Pull the bone. Clear Need some meat. <laughs> These are short ribs, y'all. This piece, I'm sure, is going to fall apart if I don't hold it. Right? Mm. Good. Mm. Mm -mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. 
Let me get a couple of my favorites. What that is? <laughs> what that is? That what that is? Mm-hmm. That definitely the devil with you. One more. <laughs> they just be so good. Tic Tac should sponsor you. Cause that's how you eat them. <laughs> Which way you eat like Tic Tacs, Pringles, Skittles? I always say I eat <laughs> like chips. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. They so poppable. Uh-huh. Oh shit. When they around, I got to limit myself. <laughs> Y'all know I was trolling y'all in the last video when I wore that white shirt, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> I didn't realize it looked like that till I looked over there at you at the end. I said, woo. <laughs> y'all know I was trolling y'all. I was surprised. That was a white shirt that I had worn them up by and got dirty before. I'm surprised it even got as clean as it mm -hmm. did, but. That's why I wore it again. But I knew that burger was going to look this time. <laughs> I knew that burger was going to get on it. <laughs> Every now and then I put on a shirt. Yeah, I don't want to get dirty on here. Very rare. Shirts like these are shirts that I worn in videos a thousand times. Mm. They don't look bad. Like they ain't raggedy, but they don't, you know. Mm. They for this purpose. Mm -hmm. I got shirts that I'm up by and if y'all look at the videos on the regular, you'll notice you'll see the same shirts. And most of the time my shirt be black. It be different ones, but they be they be tied. It's macaroni and cheese about the uh Uh huh. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Why is it so good? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but when I started eating it before I said I'm why I keep coming back? <laughs> That's what I was just doing. Cause I just told myself when we fell, I said, don't eat much macaroni cause we gonna drink later. But I don't know, I'm not doing good. <laughs> um, Y'all also got a little bit of sauce from the ribs on the side if you want some. Mm. Mm, good. Y'all the other day we finally watched that Whitney Houston movie. It made me so sad. Oh, Whitney. <laughs> so, so sad. Mm. Bro, what? When I first met AJ, one thing we always had in common was like liking music, listening to music and stuff. And he said that was one of his favorite uh, female singers. Yeah. Shields, heels. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna dunk it and then show you. Cause I'm petty. No, I'm petty. I'm petty like that. Oh, she about to fall. Cause I'm so petty. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Crying so bad. <laughs> but you sound like lot. <laughs> Danielle. What? Has this new obsession with crying so bad. <laughs> I don't know why he's so funny. I think mean, it's cause he's silly. So silly. Mm -mm, what? I'm scared. Oh, uh, what? I feel like I'm about to get yes, I'm <laughs> What's wrong with you? I just want to eat. <laughs> you better get ready, honey. Because it's going to happen. Get the macaroni. Get it away from me. Mmm. Them ribs is dangerous. Everything is dangerous. <laughs> Where I'm going next? <laughs> mm -mm. I'm just, let me eat the broccoli. That's what I was trying it's to do. covered in cheese, but. So AJ had a notification come up on my phone earlier that there was a man in South Carolina that stole 
$40,000 worth of chicken breast. God damn! From a plant. How about to say where he get it from a truck? Mm -mm. What you gonna do with it? I guess. That's what I'm wondering. I'm like, he about to go sell that. $40,000. So they know who it is? Yes, he got a whole picture. They got, I'm like, do this man, I about said the N word, do this man work there? Because they over here talking about he drive a Yukon. They got the plates. And then I think he drive a Camry. Let me see. Nigga. <laughs> a Corolla. With a SC tag. They got that tag number in there and the other. Talking about if you know where he is called blah, blah, blah. Even if he was going to sell it, how you going to offload $40,000 worth That's of chicken? Like, are you selling this to a restaurant? You trying to get your, uh, you got a restaurant, you got some homeboy, you got a hookup, you know what okay. I'm saying? You telling like, look, I got, I got $40,000 $40, worth of chicken. You That's a lot. First of all, you need somewhere to store that shit. And even if you sell it, they gonna need somewhere to store it. $40,000 worth <laughs> of chicken breast. I can't even imagine the most expensive chicken, piece of chicken being worth more than. He worked there. Kawhi I know, but I'm saying I'm like saying. how much. It's forty thousand dollars worth of chicken. That's got to be a lot. How but did he steal it? It's specific chicken, like it's boneless chicken breast. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I can't imagine I the know. most expensive piece of chicken being worth more than uh twenty dollars. He gotta have a trailer, like a so truck. a case of chicken. You know, a case of the most expensive chicken breast can't be worth more than what. Couple hundred. That's what I would think. So I'm like, how many? How did you do this? Forty thousand. Did you been doing this over time, or just? I don't. It just said a man is wanted in South Carolina for stealing forty thousand dollars <laughs> worth of chicken from a poultry plant. Nigga. <laughs> uh uh, he not. It said McFadden, because if it's public news, I'm going to say his name. <laughs> so, $40,000 worth of boneless chicken breast from Pilgrim's Pride on May 9th. <laughs> he got to have a tractor trailer or something. That nigga had that damn, um, he got a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Not a dragon. Or something. I don't know. What you gonna do? I'm like you. What you gonna do with this, sir? <laughs> we got uh, enough of that macaroni, Daniel. you know. <laughs> I don't know how you do that. I don't either. Say, I'm not forty thousand dollars. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. My little eggs. I don't know. <laughs> how you? What in the world? I don't know. Had to be an inside job. Hmm? Had to be an inside job. Had to. Somebody snitched on them when they <laughs> when they felt the flame get out. Okay. They was like, you sign these pallets off now. Where are they at? What? What the hell? <laughs> and I'm like, that amount of money, do you think a company ain't going to... Especially because it's probably like, you know, local to... Whatever county this is, what is this something? Um, you think a company like that ain't gonna notice forty thousand dollars of merchandise missing? Man, what are you gonna do with it? Mm -hmm. I got so many questions. Like, where was he taking it? Who was he <laughs> selling it to? Because think about it, forty thousand dollars worth of chicken. Chicken is 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 perishable. Mm. No, how do how you look at it? It's gotta be frozen. Oh, yeah, how is he holding? It's gotta be frozen, or else mm. it's going to go bad. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> you steal forty thousand dollars worth of chicken in a day. You got to have somewhere to store it, or you right. got you got to have somebody that you getting rid of it too that can store it. Mm. So it, it, either way it go, it's not just him. It's somebody. It's gotta be. Gotta that be don't make no sense. Helping to distribute it or something because said so forty thousand is a lot. Okay. That's crazy. A lot. Y'all, I thought we was watching Young Famous and African. Young Rich and African. Lord, honey. <laughs> All of them. I might be saying it wrong myself, but I, I know, know it's definitely. Young Famous I definitely African, know it's maybe. Rich and African. Oh. I just don't know what order the words. I don't want to know. I just don't know what in, what order the words go in, but I, I know it's Rich anyway. and African. Because I kept wanting to say Famous. I think some other it show is. got Famous. What? 
Is it family? Mm -hmm. But what's the rich? Baby, mm mm. Oh, Somebody baby. got a rich. So, I thought. <laughs> I think she might have said it in the show and made me think I was wrong. <laughs> I think she might have said when we young, rich, and African made me think I was. Like, yeah, maybe it was that. Because I said, because I, 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 I knew I had kept saying it wrong before, and then I was like, um, I wasn't sure what that, because I don't know why I can't never just look at the title, but mm -hmm. I think somebody said it, because I was sure about that young, rich, and I was sure right. about that. I had bought it up because I was going to ask you, like, with um, Homeboy. Who? God, what is the name of the L? Lewis. Oh, yeah. He um like how would you feel if you were like exiled from your like you can't talk to your family because apparently um his family is in this religion. He didn't say which like which one it was. He just kept calling it the church. So I don't know if it's like right. Christianity or what it is. But anyway, because of the lifestyle he has, which which is like he's a model and then you know, a personality in that country. He can't speak to his family because he's not a part of the church anymore. And I'm like, I couldn't imagine where I can't talk to, you know, my mama or my daddy, brother, sister, or anybody that's a part of that faith, you know. Right. He's basically by himself. And, like, it kind of made me sad because he was talking to that other guy. And he just, like, breaking down crying. And I'm like, he probably has had to sit here and deal with this, like, alone. Because you don't have nobody... To talk to, and then if mm -hmm. you don't have no friends, like and and organizations like that, like if he can't talk to them, if he's been exiled, he probably couldn't really associate with too many other people that were outside exactly. of it too. So that's probably all. The, it's all about control and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that's probably everybody he knew, like mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying before it happened. So that's kind of crazy though. Like mm -hmm. I don't, I don't even know, man. If you, you know. All the family that you grew up with, you know what I'm saying? Right. You can't, you haven't even, you know, you barely get to see them mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You pretty much just like sent to the wolves. He's pretty much sent to the wolves right. and then like having them. Especially because I know like over there in Africa, they're very big on like family and you know. Yeah. And so for you not to be able to talk to them like that, that's, that's kind of sad. And then over here, you know. Kind of your cousins are like the your first friends, like they yeah. are, you know, the first people you become friends with. And I'm sure he couldn't talk to them either, you know. That's crazy. If they're a part of that, which he said that recently, he heard his mom and dad's voice, like they called him, I guess. But that was after seven years because he said that they're starting to get older now, and you know, as you get older, things kind of change. You're not so, especially like with religion, people aren't. They tend. To not be so strict with their religion. Especially because, you know, this is your own son. But seven years is a long time. It really is. I, I, that I, is a long time for I that could, to be the reason why. You know? I couldn't like, imagine. That's because like, of my lifestyle or, you know, because I don't... It is. I don't think it's that he doesn't believe in it. I think it's just his... Right, his what, choice. Yeah, um, his choice of profession to make money, like... That, well, um, you know, and it's really, it really sucks either way it go, because that's kind of like almost like losing everybody mm -hmm. that you like. For real, it's almost like the death of everybody mm -hmm. that you've been close to. If you can't be around them, you can't associate with them, and you're just forced to go, you know what I'm saying, your own way. Right. And <clears throat> not even, you know what I'm saying, there's nobody that, you know, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much, you have to pretty much grieve these people like they're not even there. Right. Which that's that's um I mean I wouldn't fare well. I mean like anything though, you know what I'm saying, you adjust and you move on, you do what you gotta do. Right. You can't just lay down because time gon go time gonna move. Mm hmm Regardless. So I mean you just gotta knuckle up. But I imagine it wouldn't be it wouldn't be easy. Even for folks who feel like they grew up and, you know, they only had mm -hmm. certain people that was close to them and they ain't got many people anyway, if you were forced to um, to pretty much leave the people, the only people that you care about, or you know, right? That's gonna, that's gonna suck. Right, and then I don't even think he's that old. He might be early thirties, I'm thinking, but I think I might be pushing it. But Which I thought it was weird at first when he was like, you know, what I'm saying he just he wants a child. He doesn't really desire to um to have a relationship. Mm -hmm. Like he just wants a child. You know what I'm saying? At first, that was kind of weird to me. Yeah, it was kind of a lot. Like, mm -hmm. 
But after that, I understand because it's not even that you just desire to have somebody to love and own and give love to. It's family, too. Right. Like, <clears throat> he doesn't have a family. Right. Like, so just being able to have, uh, you know what I'm saying, somebody with him. I mean, mm -hmm. I can understand that. I Maybe, mean, you know what I'm saying, he's not, you know, trying to be compatible with somebody in the moment. It's mm -hmm. not something that he's looking for. But, you know what I'm saying, as far as, you know, I can understand that now. Right. I think, it's, I think that's, that's a, that's, that's rough to have to deal with. Very rough. Especially because, like you said, like, it's almost like a death, but his parents are still alive. You know, like, yeah. your whole family is still alive. They just... Especially, think about it. It's been, he doesn't, he's not that old, is he? Hey, and so, like, just being... I, that's why I say I don't. He might if be... That, if seven years early ago, 30s. he was still young. So then being forced, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you're not even really established in life like that. Exactly. And so being forced to just leave your parents and everything, I'm pretty sure... You're gonna have it's almost like you haven't aggrieved them while they're still here. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. that's crazy, man. And then the fact that that was, you know, seven years ago, kinda of when you get in your twenties, some most of us, some of us, kind of look to our parents for like wisdom or to ask them, you know, if something is happening. Well, and because they've been through this already, you're able to ask them, Okay, what do I do if I'm in this situation? Not in like a controlling way, but just you know, a little bit of guidance. Because, you know, when you're a teenager and stuff, you ain't hearing nothing they saying, okay? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. You don't care what they saying. But once you get, like, you know, 25 and stuff, and you're doing stuff with cars or insurance or stuff, he can't even, you know. Right. And he can't like, even ask them what right. to do. It's almost like you try, you got to figure this stuff out on your own. And, which, like I said, some people have to do that anyway. But his parents are still there. That's, you know. This is crazy. Like I wouldn't even. I mean, you 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 don't even have for for you to. You still you know have, you have disagreements with your family and everything like that. Your relationships better still not be perfect, but you know just being having to be like, and then you don't even understand that. So you don't even have to. You have to deal with the fact that you can't be around these people. Mm -hmm. You can't talk to them. You can't even express your disappointment or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then also you have to deal with the fact that probably in the back of his mind. He wouldn't think that they could really let this happen or go through with it. When it's your parents, you feel like you know the consequences of something. You know what could happen. But there's still part of you that's probably holding on to some type of hope. Like, my parents wouldn't leave me out here right. like this. Like, not like this. So then when you got to face reality altogether of the whole situation, that just adds another layer of, right. you know, that's... Hell no. Nah. Yeah. I mean, because like, like I said, like even, you know, people that you're around with, whether it be your, your parents, your brother, your sister, you you know, most people don't have the perfect relationship with them, with those people. Meaning like, when I say not the perfect, it just means that you don't always get along with them. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to be around them 24-7. Even if your relationship is not that great, like me and my dad's relationship ain't that great. But if I, if I know that if I need to call him, I know his number. I know the way he lives. So me being totally distant from him is uh, it still would be it still not be a situation that I want to be in. Right. You know that's that's I think your family people sometimes take family for granted, mm -hmm. and everybody needs somebody. I mean, trying right. to do life by yourself is just a lot. You know, yeah. what I'm saying you need other people to help you through. So mm -hmm. yeah, like I got damn yeah, being headed ass whenever I can't. You know. I don't really have my family at times. Why? I... Sometimes it's rough, and she 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 growls like a, a lion in heat. See, <laughs> you about to be in this in here with Charlie, you Charlie and Rita, and what's that thing, Kevin? Kevin is my arch enemy. Okay, <laughs> my nemesis. Yeah, I'm cut. <laughs> animal. I mean, not animal control. Uh. <laughs> Uh, what's PPS? What is PPS? <laughs> puppy Protective Service. He ain't no damn puppy. <laughs> well, he is like a puppy. If he don't grow bigger Kevin than... Kevin got an attitude problem. And I'm the only one in here that can have one. Kevin don't do shit. He literally <laughs> eats his food and lays down all day. And then, yeah, be having... He makes so much noise. And I know he do it on purpose because <laughs> I'm right there. <laughs> You got issue, y'all. Get ready to call uh, whoever the dog people is. I can't think right now because I got barbecue ribs and I macaroni. Know. 
twirling around my head like a punched. cartoon. Punch, punch. What's the name of what? Oh, um, not Elmo Foot. No, no, what's the name of the, uh... Bunny Bunny. No, the, 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 animal, the animal people. Whenever the people... No, SPCA. No. <laughs> I'm going to call them too. Let's see. My wife is in here terrorizing my smallest yeah. dog in the house. Growling at me. I'm the reason you eat. He ain't got teeth. <laughs> And that's another reason why he don't need to be growling, no poofless hole. You, girl, you heard the saying, all barking, no bite. He is the embodiment. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga can't bite water. <laughs> Who bites water? <laughs> you are dumb. Mm. Who bites water? He can't pull a blanket toward him if he wanted to. He might. He be doing a lot of them gums. No, he can't. His tongue hangs out, so he he is not dragging. AJ, <laughs> he be doing a lot, though. He do. AJ be getting y'all need to call SPCA on AJ, giving him hard food, and he ain't got no teeth. <laughs> yeah. Talking about me, I give him good hard food. <laughs> it's still hard. I can't deal with that. Uh, look, <laughs> let me tell you something. When we switched to uh, unless unless I made the food, there was a time where I used to make all our dogs' food when we had our other dogs. You know. Uh, it still hurts my heart that they're not here. But when we had our other dogs, <clears throat> um, I used to, there was a time where I used to make that food. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? I was like chef for everybody, you know? Mm -mm. And they poop was fine. But whenever we give them, even if it's like good food, because right now, that all our dogs eat Royal Canaan. Charlie's on the puppy, puppy food, which we about to switch them to Hill Science Diet because... They only sell the, uh, this is a sidebar, but they only sell <laughs> the puppy uh, Royal Canaan in these small bags, and they don't have the big bags, and so it costs more per bag than it would if they had the big bags, the, like we buy for the older dogs. The big bags of the heels would last Charlie four months. Mm. That 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 Royal Canaan, <laughs> don't he be in that girl? Right. Anyway, so... Um, the soft food, even in the like good, healthy, all natural, no fillers, bullshit brand, makes they it will. First of all, they all going on pee pads right now. Mm -hmm. Rita and Kevin sometimes we was taking them outside at one point, but they all on pee pads. Charlie would light the room up with his poop by itself. When he poop, you know it. <laughs> I can't have. Kevin pooping out that uh that soft food and oh no food <laughs> that junk smell like death death on crackers I don't want it mm -mm. and so um he just he be the kibble is for small dog anyway it's for your he be, <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> <It> be like <laughs> uh, <laughs> y'all ever seen the uh like in bingo bingo when the uh Whenever they uh, got the balls like the air be blowing uh, balls. <laughs> That's yeah, how it be sounding. That's how it be sounding when he be in his mouth. He be, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> he be rolling that kibble around. And be gone. And then he burp. He sit down. And every now and then one will get caught in his throat. But he choke on water. I think his trachea is collapsing. I hope not. Because then I'm going to have to put him down. Because I don't want him to suffer. Like I can't listen to him struggling to breathe all day. I'm just going to have to do what I got to do and put him down because, but <clears throat> if he, anyway, he'll, he'll drink water and be over there. Mm. I'll be like, get it out, kid. Get it out. And i would be like, damn. <laughs> no remorse. <laughs> <laughs> no remorse. Damn I'm, it. I'm like, damn, damn. He over there struggling. He need to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Now he do make some noise though. Sometimes. Yeah. And Rita do too. He text me one day talking Rita about. Rita do too. When she start licking herself, God help me. So loud. I have never. I think everybody dog do that though. Cause I, I be seeing videos on TikTok. Cash used to people. do it. Cash used to wait till. Or, or they be talking about their cat throwing up at night. <laughs> Cause you know cats lick themselves a lot, so they be having hairballs. <laughs> Seeing people going off on their cat. Uh, uh, our old dog Cash used to lick itself. We used mm -hmm. to have their crates in our room. 
We had three. We kind of like had three dogs for a while. Went down to two. Now we have three again. But these are three different dogs than what we used to have. Long story between all of them. Anyway, uh, our dog Cash, when he had that crates in their room, they were set up in the corner at nighttime. We said, go to bed, go to crate, whatever they all go, and we cut them up. But he be up in the middle of the night. If you up, <laughs> let's believe he up. Yeah. If your eyes open, he's just already he's just open. open. Because he know <laughs> that you up. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes, as soon as you open your eyes in the middle of the night, it's like the perfect time for him to say, hmm, let me take a dog bath. Lick. Not a dog bath. Stop, AJ. I got That's how it sounds. Y'all be like, oh, 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 I ain't never wanted to go undertake on a dog so damn bad. <laughs> undertake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really made me want to do the same thing. You dog ass mouth. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your dog ass uh -uh. mouth. I can't stand it. But anyway, they in good hands. But watch that, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to look, I'm going to have to send a code word out to everybody to let y'all know. If something go down, I'm going to just post it on the community post. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not trying to go to jail for no dog. Let me say that. That <laughs> ain't even worth going. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, y'all. Thank y'all for joining us today. We got a little longer of a video for y'all today because I know our videos be short. But anyway, we thank you. If you're here to the end, thank you so much. Um, uh, What are we going to say? Mm-mm. Nap time. I don't say put a rib emoji, but it ain't one. It is a little beef emoji, a little, it, it with a little bone. bone. Put a little, <laughs> put a little bone for the first. You know what I'm saying? I know after a while people just start looking. They be like, oh, it's a, they putting bones in there. What that mean? <laughs> put the little meat, the little meat with the bone emoji. In. Mm -mm. Let us know you made it this far. You know, uh, yeah. Since uh, I'm about to say this your very first time. No, yeah. no, please not the beginning. <laughs> um, thank y'all for joining us today. Really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please make sure you sub to this channel, y'all. Hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think, guys. And remember, remember, remember to share the video because sharing is caring. So care about us. Care about us. Y'all, we love you and we mean it. And we're going to catch you on the next video. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to y'all. Y'all have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Bye.